what, man? No gloves today in Wizard's Cave. He's putting together something special. Some of the best shots he's got on record. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through some of the sh shots that he picked out and put in his library. Some amazing shots. And uh, he saved the very best for last. Number one shot on record for the year. It's the last one, so don't miss that one. Missed some. I mean, I don't have braces hole in one. I probably forgot, you know, some other shots. So if you happen to get a cool shot or something funny that goes off, don't forget to send it to Wizard's private message. and He'll put it in his library for a future, future video if you guys like it. Um, anyhow, we're here. It's ice storm in Michigan today, so I hope I don't lose power. But down here in the cave with the Golf Club 2019, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, look around. It's partly cloudy. It's perfect weather. This is where golf is done in Michigan. And uh, pretty fortunate to be able to have the golf club and be able to play a, a, a golf with all of you guys. Uh, so I'm looking forward to many more live matches. And uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and play through some of these shots. Uh, hopefully you all enjoy it. Have a great day, man. Okay, so we got a uh, video sent over from G. Coletto. We're uh, watching his his beautiful shot here. Uh, the thing I can't figure out is what's more important, the basketball game or the shot? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, you guys be the judge. Here it goes. So he gets the shot. It's up. It's away. Wait, the basketball game. Holy cow. Who's winning? Oh, the shot. What a great shot. Not sure who's playing the basketball game, but I'll get a second look at it. The basketball, I mean. I mean the shot. Way to go, Coletto, man. All right, so now we're at uh, Smoke Rise Country Club, Fro Daddy's course. Uh, hole 7, 185 yards, 30 feet downhill. This is a pretty pretty good shot. We got an Orco. Uh, I had to uh, uh, put this in there, too. I mean... This is a great shot. Let's watch. Let's watch an oracle and watch his response. Shots up and away. Nice high draw. It's coming into the hole. Watch this ball. It's rolling. It's curving right into the hole, and then it just turns right. That's some. That's. I don't even know what to say about that. Sorry, an oracle. That looked really good. Now we're over, uh, we're with Bo Lester. I don't know what course it is. It's got all those asterisks on it. 139 yards out. Um, I don't think Bo's ever had a hole in one. But uh, let's watch this shot and see how this pans out. He's getting ready to let her go. He takes a nice swing at it. Nice on plane swing. Got a little bit of delay with the sky track. The ball is up nice and high. I mean, it's right at it. Bo's watching it. Oh, it hits the pin. It just, he still hasn't had a hole in one. He hasn't had a hole in one yet. He still hasn't had a hole in one. His ticker's beating too hard. He thought he had one. Come on, Bo. You'll be all right. Well, you know, Bo just missed his hole-in-one. Uh, I think his heart rate has gotten back down to normal. Pulse now. Um, he's on, I think it's the very next hole, actually. A uh, hole 14, same course. Don't know what the name of it is. And he's in the bunker next to the green, hitting his uh, second shot. Almost drove this one. Can he make an eagle here? Let's see. Let's let it play out. He hits the shot, a little delay, it's up. Same thing, it's the pin. Again, rejected. Bow rejected again. 0 for 2. Two holes in a row. You're kidding me. Got to be kidding me. He's even, in, he just can't get her done. What a shot, though. Good shots, Bo. Got to, we got Bob Chung, the ghost, man. The legend. He's on the last hole. Kapalua Plantation course. And it looks like he's going to hit a 57 foot putt with his high lofted putter. 
enjoy this one. Sixty-seven feet away. Bob doesn't say much. Usually pretty quiet. He goes about his business. Is he gonna kick this one in? No. He gets his putter ready. Maybe he's got it on a tee. Get some loft off that putter. Right in the hole. See what kind of excitement we get from Bob. Any triple A kick? Nothing. Just a hand waving it goodbye. Man, that's like nothing for him. Not a lot, nothing special. All right, we're at Lake of the Isles North. Oh, I remember this one. This is my favorite Quinn brother. Uh, let's not say them. Well, we'll just leave it at that. So Eskimo is my favorite Quinn brother. And uh, this was a match where he was taken on... Uh, Myself in dumps uh, because his brother bailed on him. I mean, what kind of brother bails on you? But uh, Eskimo's older brother has probably always had to take care of his younger brother, beating on him and what have you. Uh, and he doesn't need his little brother to back him up. Watch this shot right here. 18th hole under pressure to close out the match. <laughs> Violent swing, man. He put some force Solid into that. Swing. Shots up. A little bit of a draw on it, maybe. Oh, no. Hits it right next to the pin. Dump says, oh, no. Oh, shit. No, shit. Yeah, that's right, Dumps. That right, just wait. won it. That just like won it. it. Why did oh, it be what a shot. That turned out to be inside 16. And over here, we got another one at Appletown uh, Golf Course. Uh, Actually, I probably got a couple over here. So this is just uh, one, of, one of many of uh, Table Captain's amazing shots with uh, supposedly Mizuno Blades, I guess, but maybe he needs something more forgiving. Anyhow, watch this beautiful shot. That's Jesus. He really can work the ball. I've never seen a shank work back like a draw like that. He's got his own magic. He has his own magic. Okay, yeah, this is the match when uh, Eskimo got uh, left behind. You know, his brother decided to bail on, on the match. And, and uh, well, if I believe that Dumps and Wizard are down one. I'm just trying to hang in there, maybe even or, or down. No, Quinn's one up. Uh, and Wizard needs to get a little boost on this one. All right, he doesn't have any boost on, but he's looking for how can he get some boost in this match when he doesn't have boost on. So, watch this. Hey, brother's gonna hold this on while my is closing my down this hole. Okay. Longer in the fairway. I'm gonna aim for that car pad, Dom. <laughs> the shot's up and away. Quinn should have like. The animation on there. But you don't need an animation to see that. Right on the card path. Even Eskimo's laughing. There you go. Say you're going to close this out. Let's let him rip here. Let's see what he does. We get to 3.30. Okay, so now we're over here with Bob Chung. And uh, he's a rule stickler, man. He likes to play by the rules. 14 clubs, one ball rule. Uh... But watch real closely on this one. Uh, Wizard kind of thinks he might have 15 clubs in use. Uh, you all be the judge. Watch him right here. 
Watch his right foot. That's what I'm talking about. What'd you say about that? He gives it the little fist pump. Yes, he does. <laughs> 15 clubs. 15 clubs. Okay, now this one. This one's a wizard. He's he's on his he's on his way to he's trying to trying to get his 30th first place in TGC 2019. And uh, he's he's looking at uh doing it on just the most beautiful pebble beach golf course you've ever seen. We call it Pebble Fugazi. It's a one of a kind, it really is. So he's on his final round on the first hole. And let's see what kind of wizardry wizard has. Let's let this play out. So 107, heavy rough, 10%, 11, 14, 121. Minus four, one seventeen. It's got some serious math going on here. He can calculate to the inch. I think it's short. He thinks he left it two inches short. Yeah, maybe it's gonna get there. Spin. See that? That's on his way to number 30. Now we're at uh, Tralia, Ireland. Now this is a really cool hole. It's got my second favorite quid on here. And um, yeah, Table Cap is definitely my, he's by far my second favorite. I mean, not even close to first favorite Quinn. Eskimo is definitely my favorite Quinn. So, but uh, yeah, so I mean, this hole is really pretty. You cannot leave it short. You cannot come up short or else you're hitting up a cliff. And uh, Table Captain knows that. So let's, let's watch and see how he plays this hole. Looks like he's playing with boost on this one. He's got a boost symbol down there. He's gonna need boost on this shot. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no. oh gosh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna make an eight. <laughs> you needed more boost. Definitely could be a factor on this one. You needed it's more boost on that one. This one's Captain Z. <laughs> and even he was gutsy. I mean, he didn't make it by much. That's gutsy. Good shot, Captain Z. And yeah, not the greatest approach shot there. So now we're 51 yards away, 60 feet uphill. How many shots is it going to take him to get it up that hill? He'd be lucky to get it 60 feet high. Are we going to see club throwing or not? I don't know. Let's see. Not yelling at it. I'll be darned to hit that 63 feet high. Right next to the hole. Some animation there. That was a great up and down. That was an incredible shot. Well, now we're over at the... Uh, I think it's Chad Goff's night course, or it was a par three in one of our tournaments. And uh, again, we got my favorite, favorite Quinn brother, Eskimo. Looks like it's 96 yards out, and he's about ready to give it a hit. Let's see what happens. Hits the shot. The ball is up and away. One hop, two right in the hole, and the reaction. Dang, I think Table Captain's more excited than uh, Eskimo. He's got his hands up now. He's got his hands up now. Nice shot, Eskimo. All right, Legend of Bristlecone, 149 yard hole. We've got Bob Chung again. What is this, the Bob Chung highlight reel? Uh, huh. 
Jeez, Bob, you're taking over the show. Well, enjoy this one. Shots up and away. Watching Bob. Is he going to get excited? What a shot. We got a hand up and a quick down. There's a little excitement. That's probably over the top for him, except for the lay triple leg kick one. That's a, that's a pretty good shot. Pretty good excitement from Bob there, too. Okay, so um, now we're over at Appletown Golf Course. Uh, we've got Birdie out of Germany. He's 227 meters, whatever that means. Second shot in on a par 5, 483 meters, however far that might be. I don't know. Uh, if he had a real golf balls, you know, without that awful cover and all them dots on there, you know, something that would spin a little more, um, I don't think he'd have pulled the shot off, but... He's got garbage golf balls. So let's see what those garbage golf balls do on this shot. He's getting ready. He's got a little waggle going. Looks pretty tall, Birdie. He's ready to go. And the shot's away. It's up. It's coming down. It's just short of the green. Crawls on right there. Birdie's watching. He doesn't look too excited yet. Oh, we have a double eagle, boys. He's happy. He gets the hand up. Uh, Birdie's smiling. Nice to see a happy Birdie. Nice to see a happy Birdie, yes. All right, here we go. We've got... Uh, now, now, this I thought was a great shot. I'm not sure who this guy is. Some left-hander. Uh, 18th hole, Kapalu, I don't think he's going to, I don't think he'd win this tournament without, without pulling off what he just did. Now, remember Stingray hit it from 300 and some yards of the pitching wedge. This poor lefty here, he's got to pull out three wood just to get it to go 230. And it's downhill 100 feet or 51 feet. I mean, Stingray would probably hit a half sand wedge or something. But, uh, this is a special shot. I thought it was going to be number one until, uh, until we saw Stingrays. I mean, Stingers is definitely, definitely tops this one, but you can watch this shot. That's pretty good for a lefty. It's like he missed it with a cut. Coming a little hot. Oh, I think he damaged the pin on it. Damaged the pin. Oh, he's got his hands up. Who is this guy? this guy nice shot mark for the win that won the tournament too that was huge now this one we've got stingray he's uh kapalua the 18th hole looks like round one 303 yards out downhill he's gonna it looks like he's hitting the pitching wedge i mean this guy is an animal uh but, uh, you know, I thought Mark Andres was a good shot till I saw that this one. Um, Mark's was a piece of cake and not that skilled versus Stingray with a pitching wedge from 303 yards out. And I can't tell, but he, I think he's in heavy rough, too. Uh, well, watch this shot. There ain't no layup in Stingray. Bam! Nice high draw. 157 mile an hour ball speed on that pitching wedge. Look at him, just nonchalantly, hands on the hips, just watching it, enjoying it. Sitting there, yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, I got this. Pink, hand up in the air. Nothing to it for Stingray. Well, I had to come back here. Old Head Golf Course in Noonan, it was a, it was a pretty sweet looking course. And, and uh, I can't leave Bob's double eagle out. I mean, we've had a lot of double eagles, haven't we? Uh, Mark Andre, Stingray, Birdie. And, and of course, Bob's taken up a lot of film time. Um, this was 244 yards. But it's not for the faint of hearted, man. You gotta be accurate on this shot. You could end up with a big number. So let's let this one play out. 
I think I got some commentary from before that might bleed into this one, but anyway, watch this shot. Okay, so we're at uh, Old Hot Head Golf Links, um, Newton Society, 12 hole, 541 yards. I wouldn't even take this on. I would lay up, not foul. He's going to shoot it from 244 yards. Three wood. It's a three wood. Looks like a good shot. It's getting better. It's getting better. Watch him in the screen. He's got his hand up like an orco. It goes and down. Just it out triple. The fairway. Leg that was a, that was a joy to watch. That was That's the shot. most exciting that you get on the bottom right there. Ben triple leg shot. 10 yards to the pin from here. Well, we've got another one here. Um, this is my second favorite Quinn brother, um, table captain, and uh, he's uh, 98 yards away, looking to make a well, good chance of making a birdie here. Just needs to get one in, in tight and make the putt. And let's watch, uh, let's watch his approach. And it's up and it's away. Holy! Is that? Yeah, uh, maybe you should go try some big berth irons. Those Mizunos are just a little bit too small, I have a feeling. Okay, so um, Wizards over here, it's hole 18 at Pebble Fugazi. And uh, this is the best shot on record. Uh, he's 48 yards out. He's in some heavy rough. He needs to get up and down for uh, his number 30, number 30th win. Um, anyhow, uh, this is this makes him so happy. So happy. I'm so happy to share this with all of you. The number one shot in the last year. Here we go. Enjoy. It's up, it's away. Look at that. Inside the circle of friends. Number 30, number 30.